only so much fresh water on this planet. And as the world population grows, more people need more water. And there's a, pro a movement to protect it, and that movement begins in Davos, Switzerland, at the World Economic Forum. That's where we find the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff. Dave, good morning. Good morning. It is a complicated and controversial issue. That's why we're catching up with both sides here in Davos, starting with an environmentalist from the Nature Conservancy. Today, I am the president and CEO of the Nature Conservancy. But before that, for about 25 years, I worked at Goldman Sachs on Wall Street. Today, Mark Tursek is here to convince these corporations they can do both protect resources and make money at the same time. And our science has progressed to the stage now where we can help them understand by investing in protecting watersheds, that's a really great way to ensure they'll have the clean water they need for their product. Switzerland, land of great coffee, cheeses, and of course, uh, chocolates, look at those, is a great place to exchange ideas like this. And speaking of chocolates, one person from the corporate world here who's very focused on this idea of protecting the watersheds around the world is Nestle chairman Peter Brabeck. We spoke to him earlier today. I'm looking at the channel every morning when I'm in the U.S. to oh, see yeah. how the weather is coming up. So. <laughs> Clearly, people are overusing water on this planet. What is the one most impactful thing that you think people could change today? Basically to be more respectful in the usage of water and the biggest use of which is agriculture. But the same is valid for the usage of water in the industry. Now Nestle makes more bottled water than anyone worldwide. All their factories use water. However, for what we need as humans for drinking, this water is what I call clearly a human right. No doubt about it. As head of the Water Resources Group, Brabeck wants to change the way some people pay for water. We found a solution that the first 6,000 liters of water that goes to a household are free. But for every liter more water that you're using, you start to pay. The less we are using, the less we should be paying. And the more we are using, the more we should be paying. Those things would be very important in order to make a more efficient use of the water. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Peter. Controversial idea, but think about this, Alan Jen. As the world's population grows, we're going to need double the food that we have right now and double the power that we have by 2050. Both of those things also take water. All right, Very Dave, interesting, so Dave. Much. It's an interesting plan, too. All right, still ahead, we've got.